All right. We successfully got Professor Fig his book. And now we got to get back to his classroom. I'm not sure what the fastest way is. Ooh, that is some bad loading. What in the... That's just painful. Why, why are you like this? Wow. Okay. Something isn't particularly happy on my computer. Maybe it's just the game. This is the first time this has happened. It looked fine when I loaded in. Bizarre. You know what? Before we begin this, let me let me back out and get back into the game and see if it loads a little better. <laughs> Give me one sec. All right, now that seems to have done the trick. Let's do this quest. See what's in the book. Or explain what was in the book, I should say. Uh, Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them act acclimatize before term begins. I was thinking it was acclimate, but I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley. Interesting. Uh-oh. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. We're gonna put money Sir, on him being the potion I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor God, Black. that sounded terrible. Potion was a book professor. We were after. What? That's... Wait. You access the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. It's a good plan. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. 
Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. I'm actually kind of excited oh, for and herbs don't neglect and potions. Your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Sweet. Uncollected rewards for main quests. the cape legendary armored attire interesting now, I know there's supposed to be some side quests in the area I saw Arthur Plumley studying two treasure maps. I should see if he needs any help. The puff scheme problem. And the Dedalion keys. Let's start with this guy. I think he's the closest. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Hala, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay, so that's going to be one of our next main quests. It's Let's time to bridge your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Beat me at the usual place for the final round of cross wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. That's a lot of mail. Okay, so Natty just sent me an outpost. Yep, we know that. I don't want to go right now. Okay, this is the world map. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Okay. And this is the hamlet of Lower Hawksfield. Okay. First things first. Oh. God. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, let's get it over with. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. So. Transfiguration courtyard door. Up the steps. And then Akio on a portrait. Transfiguration Courtyard is where we are going to start. Do you find yourself thinking of something? How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, no, I, just want to see oh, I can't like click on it and use it. I have to. Uh, okay. Oh no, just travel. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That looks like a gobstone to me. Akio!
Well, that didn't work. Okay, so. How do we open that treasure map again? Oh, the first piece is the rhino statue. It didn't really say what order the clues were supposed to be in, though. Revelio. Rebellion. Perfect. What are you up to now? Oh. Ah, the rhinoceros statue. skeleton. I'm on the right track. Dragon fountain. Should be the courtyard. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zeno. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. And then a stairwell going up. On another adventure, Rebellion. Oh. So there's a doorway. Oh, duh. No. Supposed to be a doorway behind the dragon statue. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I adore that place full of holidays. You can never have too much fun. Okay. Where's the damn treasure map? Okay, so dragon faces this way, doorway is behind a tree. Yep, okay. Stairwell looks promising. I need someone to lend a hand. Painting with the ring at the top. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? And it said to Akio. Akio! <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. 
Oh, that's cool. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Okay. So, other than the fact that I am a total buffoon this whole time. Ooh. I bet the Hallam is carrying some plates. So that wasn't the plan. Is there a blue flame up here? Ooh. This is nice. Okay, but we gotta go back to Arthur. So let's do that. It's actually a pretty neat little treasure map. Even if I am terrible at them. So let's see here. He's outside of the Charms classroom, I believe. Yep. Okay, we gotta go. Where'd that page go? Akio. There we go. Gotta pet the cat. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Let's swap out our gear real quick, see if that uh, uniform's any good. And... Oh, it's just an appearance. Okay. And then uh, next assignment. Herbology class. Cross, cross wands, spell combos. Let's do herbology. I actually just really am interested in, in seeing how that class goes. I haven't been to the herbology classroom yet, so we're just going to run there. And then maybe after Herbology, we'll do the other side quests that are in the uh, in this tower. Ah, oh, yeah, much better. Okay, back through the main hall. Possibly be as difficult as it seems. Oh, I've been wondering what these were for. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? 
I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Interesting. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Well, let's see. Do come and find me if you're stumbling on something new. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that is actually... That does look like it should be nearby. It down here. Yes. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, that's cool. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Renora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And we get a field page out of it. Where's Lenore at? Not far. So that's good. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Nice. The moth! I just... Oh, all right. Got a new outfit. Holy. Oh, yes. There's no doubt we're in Herbology now. Oh, man. Oh, this is fantastic. Rebellion. I knew I heard something. Greenhouses. Oh, and this is class. Why conjures Unmet of death? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You need these. Today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? Oh, God. First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
took enveloped the roof like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. That's it? Let it work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting ditany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Oh, good. It's not hmm. actually over. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting ditany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have, have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nippers fancy, or roses? Which one's my potting table? Ditany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ah. Here we go. Growth time of 10 minutes. It's not bad. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Ditany will be ready to use in the Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. I knew he was a potions professor. Let's say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, I mean, with a name like Chomping Cabbage, I would imagine they do bite. So cross the footbridge outside Hello. of the classroom. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese Chomping Cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Hufflepuffs too. At least you do. We got some new gear out of this. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. They'll do the rest. Oh, okay. Look at that. They'll chomp them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that'd have your back in a fight. 
not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents didn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yeah, probably. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Is there any plants we can collect from in here? Doesn't really seem like it. Oh, there we go. Cool. He's going out this way. We'll do the same. Why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I've learned our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, I don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I like that. He's actually pretty fun. Those man hates are really relishing their new parts. Only cost me my damn hearing. Make any Five minutes. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well. Okay. So potions class will be next. But I want to make sure the uh, plants grown before then. So let's check on those side quests. The annex? Oh, rewards of wand handles. Okay. And gold. All right. Let's do that. It's like right outside. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. What are you doing? Interesting. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I came to this place. All right. I think that's so far that's my this is my favorite place in the castle. Yeah. Remember I want to say I was in middle school I chaperoned a oh dear. Harry Did Potter style uh kids retreat up at Penn State and I just had so much fun when they took us to the greenhouses is everything all right oh hello thank you for asking I'm Cressida by the way and I'm afraid everything's not all right I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian you see I'm fond of creating my own charms thought I perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books my arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, it literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madam Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Sure. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. 
If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. You know what? Absolutely. The library's through here. That's right. I'm going to have to use Aki to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Four of them? Akio. One's up there. Akio. Oh, that's a field page. Ooh. Thank you. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Oh, I can actually read it. Today was a good day. Right, Ice Cube. A nice little bit of flavor. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's take a look around for these books, though. Okay. Must be upstairs then. I just love the detail they've put into all this. Jeez, this is a labor of love, you can just tell. Akio. Where's this book at? There we go. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Absolutely. I could tap into the unconscious in some capacity. Okay, where was she? Ah, oh, yeah, she was up here. To finally have an answer as to why that. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Right. Oh, goodness. Some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Was that long enough for the uh, plant to grow? Let's see. What are you up to now? Yep. Perfect. Just so we have them. Now, was that all of the side quests here in the main main hall? Or the library annex? I should say. It looks like it. All right. So the next one's potions class. Let's do that. Seems like a good next step. Why would anyone bother saying that? Well, maybe Ormond or someone from the Ministry Is it not in the dungeons? School after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> yeah, you love to see it. Oh, yes. Hold on, before we start class, 
let's have a look around. Galleon. So many books. And this is fantastic. Revelio. It reminds me of my uh, time in the library as a history major. Ah, it's over here. Perfect. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge. R is comprised of the Ministry's magical law enforcement, protecting the wizarding world from all sorts of threats. And this is his badge. Hold on. It's a good thing we went through this. What's this? Morgan and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more hours to join those that have already been watching. Professor Sharp's to one of the uh, the new watchers. Okay, let's put some new gear on before I forget. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that is really cool, actually. I like that. We'll just get rid of that. And then we unlocked the robe. There you go. Fantastic. Now, time for class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Whatever you say, Professor. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. This isn't too difficult. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. 
Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Let's go get some stuff out of his My office. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whoop of leather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Oh, this is actually kind of a... All right, Very sure. well. I'll bring you a whooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Moggle fur. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Sure, this will backfire. Uh, where do I brew at? Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Okay. So I'm not actually making the potion i'm just all right well, not quite as exciting as i thought it would be there we go and now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Gareth! Not again! Oh, smell! Dragon Duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will... I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say... You've done well. I confess I was skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. 
You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Fantastic. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Level up again, nice. No, I'm not sure if I want to do side quests or, or jump straight into meeting up with Natty, but I think this is a good place to stop for right now. So, as always, guys, right? Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.